There was heavy police presence in Montel Heights today as officers canvassed the area following a shooting incident which has left one man dead and another fighting for his life in hospital. His death marks the 73rd murder for the year and as RCS Gradley tells us, there are some residents who express safety concerns. Robert Hall has lived on Ethel Street, Montel Heights for as long as he can remember, and he says he has never feared for his safety, but he is concerned with the number of non-residents coming into the area wreaking havoc. I believe it's people just passing through the area, because they come and they go. But another resident who would not appear on camera expressed safety concerns, especially for her children. I've let more guns on the street than the police have. And they have bigger guns. That's how I never had a gun, a bleach fire, as loud as that gun before in my life. My kids was crying, they still crying. Their concerns came to light after police reported that shortly after 9 o'clock last night, a group of men were walking on Athol Street when the occupants of a Silva Honda vehicle pulled up and fired several shots at them before speeding off. Both residents were at home at the time and remember hearing the gunshots, but for fear of their safety, remained inside. Police have since launched an island-wide manhunt for the occupants of that vehicle. Assistant Commissioner of Police Stephen Dean says moving forward, residents can expect increased police presence as they seek to put a handle on crime. Their number of persons we know are in possession of firearms. We continue to put the appeal out that those persons who have those firearms, we need you to bring them in. We feel the same pain that everybody feels. So we believe that if we continue along this trajectory, continue along this path, we will bring justice to the families, we bring relief to the communities. With investigations into this latest homicide ongoing, ACP Dean says they are hoping they will be able to wrap up this case very soon while bringing justice for the family and restoring safety throughout this community. And that would be good news for residents such as Hall. In this area, you don't have too much of crime. Down in that area, you have crime. CS Gatterly, ZNS Network News.